I work for 70 hours a week or 10 hours a day. The question is that as a VLSI engineer, should you also need to work for 70 hours? And if it is true, then is it feasible? So in this video, we will deep down into this topic. But before that, please like this video and let's get started. So hey guys, if you are seeing me for the first time, myself Rasdeep and I'm a VLSI engineer and I keep on making video around VLSI industry. So if you want to follow me, please subscribe to this channel and let's get started. So the answer is yes, you need to work for 70 hours a day and it is advisable to work for 70 hours a day if you are in your 20s or if you are in your any age, but you are a bachelor. But hold on, we know that in India, we need to work 40 hours a week for as a VLSI engineer or roughly eight hours a day for five day in a seven day week, right? So why I'm telling you that you need to work for 70 hours a day? That's a valid question, right? So should you work for extra 30 hours or more 75% as a free? Never ever work for free. If you are working for free, it is actually you are doing injustice to yourself. You are actually not respecting yourself. But hey, in the beginning of this video, I said I am working for 70 hours. So how does it matter here? Do I get extra paid or a second salary for working more 75% of the time? The answer is that you need to decide on what does free mean. It never means that if you are only paid in Indian currency or any other currency, then only you are paid. There are some time when you are not paid, you are not getting paid directly, but due to extra work, you might get some more experience, some more insight to the concepts. And that is also a worth spending your time on. I know many of you say, hey, this is all bullshit. We need money. Why should we work for 30%? But hold on, listen to my story and you will decide on yourself that actually directly or indirectly, it will help you in future to get more revenue. So how? See, for example, you are a fresher, right? For me also in my story, when I was a fresher, I just joined in. So for me, the things which is thrilling and that is I love electronic circuit, working with electronic circuits layout, you probably also, that's why you are uh, seeing my video, right? So that time, the whole concept that I can use those commercial software like Cadence Virtuoso or Synopsys, many different tool for whole day without any restriction was thrilling for me. If you are in your college, you know, if you have those access, then there are some time limitation, right? You need to go to your library or some other places live only there only you can use it. And there also one hour, two hour, then somebody else is behind you who want to use those software. There are limited licenses. But the good thing for me when I joined, there was no bound and I can keep on using those. I am contributing to the company and also I'm learning something, right? And actually speaking for me, the salary was just a bonus. The main thing what I am thrilling to work there is using those software and getting the practical knowledge. And again, I have the luxury to say that salary was a bonus because I am a bachelor. I don't have much responsibility. But as you grow and as you have more responsibility, that time you can't tell this thing that, hey, uh, salary is just a byproduct. So for me, after 40 hour work, week also i keep on spending my time in the evening to learn the tool because there are a lot of things you can learn to experiment with many things whatever we have read or we are reading in our book and by this way you are getting the experience you are doing more work right and probably you know more than what your other people in the same level know and due to that in return you will get more work i know <laughs> you, you will tell hey we are getting more work we don't like more work but just see the chronology actually if you get more work you will do those more work you'll get the more visibility and which imply or which have the potentiality that in future you will be more visible when there is an increment cycle or there is a promotion. So directly or indirectly, this 30% uh, this, this 30 hour extra you are spending is paying you money in future in somewhere else. But again, I said if you are a lover boy of electronic circuits, then I think it's a huge thing to keep on working when you are freshers, right? And when I just started, actually there was no boundary that I'll work 10 hours a day. I was working day and night actually that time uh, in my first one, one and a half uh, year. That time I had one, one of my close friend, okay. So he said to me, hey, you are not a cool. Like you are not cool because you keep on working. You don't go for party. You don't go for movie or anything at all. You are just working. So um, you have done your MTech. 
uh, so much of hard work and then also, now also you are hard working so you are a, not a cool people you are a kind of boring people i also given a thought yeah that is correct probably and then i just thought of that if you think of somebody who is doing something on his or her own like a startup he is building something as a startup he or she is a ceo so will you call him a boring person or a dynamic cool person for sure we we admire those pers- type of persons right in my case i wanted to be in that shoe so i told him that hey if you see that person who is a ceo or who is building something on their own as a cool person then why not me then he said you are working for somebody else you are not building your company at the same time i said hey i am building my brand here my capability here because i am working on me the time i spend on learning basics of electronics the concept of electronics how things going on in the industry as soon as possible the possibility is that i will be a great vlsi engineer so in other way i was a ceo of my own who is building a vlsi engineer a perfect vlsi engineer i am still not that uh, that level i haven't reached there but i want to be there in one domain at least that i am expert so that's why i consider myself as a as cool as a ceo or somebody who is building on their something on their own tell me in the comment section if you also feel like my friend that i am a boring person or like myself that no i am building a vlc engineer so i am also a cool and dynamic person but it is again true that after one two year the things will like it will your learning curve would be very stiff and as you have spent more time so you will also reach the saturation point quickly and when you reach the saturation point it is not saturation point and it is not like it will be constant it will be but the curve will uh, flat down right uh, gradient would be lower during that time probably you won't find any more incentive by extra working those 30 hour a week or more 75% of the time right that time you can use that extra hour to generate your second business and and there is a great disclaimer and that is according to me we all are entitled to work for our second source of income we are entitled according to india's law but you need to check on yourself we need to secure ourselves with a second source of income after those learning curve you can spend those extra time to work for your side gigs and also there is one thing that as in the beginning year you have experimented you have learned many thing then your colleague at the same level so probably when you reach that saturation point or that low gradient point you might be able to do 8 hours of work inside 5 to 6 hours so you can save more time you can invest more time to learn some other domain of vlsi electronics or you can try to explore for your second uh, your side gigs so now we are convinced probably that hey we need to work for 70 hour or 10 hour a day or we just need to extend uh, 8 hour because 8 hour anyway we need to work right in our uh, daily job and then extend it by more 2 hour and also in the weekend we need to work for 10 hours at that day but is it feasible like uh, working 70 hour and then not exhausting yourself up or how to maintain the family the best thing is that we don't have a much of family here <laughs> we are staying in some other places our parents are staying in their places uh, probably you have your girlfriend boyfriend but those also don't need so much commitment to give them those time but still still if we want to uh, see a practical scenario is it is it feasible to work for 70 hour and before i go into the calculation let me clear one thing and that is if you include the time you spend on social media ott or youtube probably you are working more than 70 hour like if you consider those as work so the crust of my thing is that if you just reduce those consumptions and you just use the time to build yourself or build your second gigs then it's all feasible you again have a question that hey those time spent on ott youtube or social media are a downtime they are refreshing our mind but you are an engineer don't fool yourself those time are not refreshing or relaxing your mind they are actually giving you depression they are giving you fomo kind of things or 
uh, in any any Netflix web series, you won't be see, seeing any family drama, right? You will, you will be seeing uh, some movies like of Tenant, Instant Stellar, and those require a huge mental pressure, right? They are satisfying, but your mind is working. And the same type time you can use those mind power to build yourself but still you say no this is also a part of our life we want to spend there so the good news is that you actually can do everything whatever you need just you need to stop binge watching so if i give you a rough rough estimation see in a week we have 168 hour out of 168 hour 40 hour are reserved for our full-time job we can't do anything we need to work then for a good health you need to sleep for eight hour a day so eight into seven 56 then two hour a day exercise. I, I doubt you, you are doing, I do actually. So I'm assuming you'll also do two hour a day exercise and that is enough for being healthy. And then you can you can also keep ten, uh, 10 hours for doing partying, seeing movie. So inside 10 hours, you can, in a week, you can see three movies, two movies actually, three hours long, like animal. So you can watch two movies, six hours. Then also you, you can remain with more four hours. You can uh, go for one of the birthday party or anything. Uh, that's great. And then you can also add another 20 hour for miscellaneous. Like if you stay in Bangalore, you are going to office. So probably if you own go every day to office, two day a week as the things are now going on hybrid. So 20 hours is enough for doing all other miscellaneous thing, going to uh, office, uh, bath, other things, what we have cleaning, uh, those things. And after everything, then also you are having with more 28 hour. So out of 28 hour, we will just spend more 14 hour or extra two hour a day for our work, our building ourselves, our side gigs. So 14 hours, and then also you are still remaining with more 14 hour, which is unassigned. And that 14 hour, you can keep on something else, anything, anything. So that means the main thing is that it is all feasible. Just the thing we want to avoid, and that is we need to balance everything. Like we said, say now, work-life balance. So work-life balance, balance means you need to balance your life also, work also. It never means it is only life and there is no work or very less work, then it's not a work-life balance. So to balance it up, you need to work more and also live more and you need to avoid the binge watching so if you are now at 24 25 year of age you have roughly five year probably i think before you get married so in that five year probably you can build a empire for yourself and if you don't build an empire also but you can build yourself at least <laughs> by doing exercise and all other things so this video was just a bro to bro talk or bro to sister talk if you like this type of video then you can check out this video here also here i have uh, talked about what are the mistakes i have done as a vtech student and in the comment section let me know what new thing you want to see in this channel Till then take care keep smiling and bye bye